Hi, everybody. We're back. This is Dave Vellante, and this is theCUBE, and we are live on site at the Tug event. It's an entrepreneurial experience. Basically, what Tug is, uh, it's, it's technology underwriting for the greater good. And what Tug does, it was founded by Jeff Fagnan and some other uh, 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 VCs and entrepreneurs. And essentially what they do is they fund nonprofits that are, that are, gonna, that are, that are startup nonprofits that help with the greater good. So that's why we're here tonight. It's the seventh annual wine event. There's about 900 people here. It's really rocking. And uh, there's a big data community here. That's why we're here talking to the entrepreneurs, finding out what's going on in, Bo in the Boston scene. And I'm here with Jeff Kelly, who's Wikibon's lead big data analyst. Uh, Jeff, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Well, so we've been tracking this market for a while, and you are deep into it. Give us an update since, uh, since you last talked to the community. You know, let's say last fall we were on ha at HackReduce. You've been writing a lot of stuff. What do you see as the, the, the big transition points that we're at in big data? What's going on in the business? What are the mega trends that you're tracking? Sure, well, uh, you know, we're seeing a few, a few different trends that are happening. One is the technology itself, from a functional standpoint, is really evolving. Uh, and uh, big data is really moving beyond simply uh, an infrastructure play more to uh, the layer of applications and, and ways to actually extract value from data as analytics as well. Uh, the other thing we're seeing is... Let's interrupt. When you say infrastructure play, you're talking Hadoop, you know, basic Hadoop infrastructure and, and the NoSQL database on top of that, and obviously some hardware infrastructure, but the hardware to date has largely been irrelevant, right? A commoditized hardware. So that's what you mean by infrastructure, that, that software layer, HDFS, the stuff that Cloud Air is doing, MapR, Adapt, guys like that, uh, Hortonworks. Etc. Right, exactly. So, you know, that was kind of the first first wave where the idea was, well, now we've got some technology to store and process all this data. And that's a very important uh, part of the, the equation, of course. But then the next question is, well, okay, well, how do we use that data? How do we access it? How do we analyze it? How do we draw insights from it? And that's where we're starting to see a lot of activity. Uh, in 2012, you know, we were hoping to see more activity in the big data application space. We didn't see a lot. But it's really starting to come alive now. Um, you know, we've talked to uh, tonight. You talked with Squirrel. They're doing some really interesting things around analytics. Um, you know, that's a, a a database play, but it's really providing some uh, additional value on top with the analytic functions. So that's where we're starting to see some activity, and that's good. That's a good sign. Now, don't you think? I mean, take Squirrel for example. So Squirrel essentially um, is is, from what I understand, building a, a, an analytics platform on top of Accumulo, but it's really targeted to developers, right? So your premise about application applications really coming to fore, there's still got to be some time there, right? They got to simplify the development process and then the applications have to get developed. Do you expect to see that this year or is that a 2014 trend? Well, I think we're going to start to see some of that this year. I think, uh, you know, uh, you know, my my uh, real my real premise is that we're going to see less off the shelf applications or what we're really going to see is a focus on application development uh, platforms or, or an application development layer uh, where ISVs and others are going to really start to build more custom applications for for the enterprise because really when you think about big data and uh, business analytics the whole idea is to create competitive advantage to find an insight that your competition doesn't have and act on it and win the market you can't really do that with off-the-shelf applications like you can do in a CRM world or, or maybe something like ERP so you know I think we're going to see more focus on application development a little bit less on off-the-shelf uh, you know, ready to go applications. But to your question, yeah, there's certainly some a ways to go in terms of um, creating that application development layer. We're seeing th players like Squirrel, others like Continuity with their data fabric. Uh, yeah, Continuity is uh, Todd Papiano's company. Exactly. So they're starting to see. We're starting to see some movement there. Uh, there's other companies uh, offering big data applications as a service. Uh, our good friend Abi Meta at Traceda is. Uh, I have it on pretty good knowledge that they're making some some pretty good traction, uh, delivering financial.